All right, uh, guys, like I told you, we're gonna do listening, but as we listen, we're gonna read and comprehend. To comprehend is to try to understand what you're, what you're reading, yeah? Now, before we start, always make it a point, before you start uh, reading through something, get to know the new vocabulary, okay? The new vocabulary, and if possible, look at the questions before you begin reading. Now, this is our vocabulary. One, uh, please note the pronunciation, yeah? Note the pronunciation. Let's start. Let's first read through the pronunciation. Raise, raise, charity, charity, original, original, extreme sports, extreme sports, adventurous, adventurous, kite surfing, kite surfing, flippers, flippers, sunbathing, sunbathing. All right, now, that is the pronunciation. Please note your pronunciation. It is very important when you're learning a new language. Now, to raise means to collect, yeah? To collect or to put something together. We say raise. Charity, like I told you before, to give charity or to help, okay? It can be an organization or something you do for the other. We say charity. Original is something that is not a replica, not something not replicated, something not fake, something original, something authentic. We say original. Uh, extreme sports, like I told you, risky sports, dangerous, adrenaline sports, out of the ordinary, the daily life sports. Uh, kite surfing, this is uh, an activity where divers, Swimmers, divers, they dive under the water with a snorkel. Yeah? It is a big tube that passes oxygen up the water. Then flippers. Flippers are generally uh, large shoes, usually made of plastic, that we wear in the shoes. Yeah? And divers use them to flip. Flip, flipper, flip, okay? To flip their feet as they swim. Then sunbathing. To sunbathe is to sit or lie in the sun, usually at the beach, yeah? So, this is our vocabulary, raise, charity, original, extreme sports, adventurous, kite surfing, flippers, and sunbathing. Please note. All right, now, uh, let's listen, our, let's listen to this, but please, uh, this is our dialogue, this is our uh, passage that we're gonna listen to, but, it is so good, like, if you listen, before you listen, try to uh, look at the questions, yeah? Look at the questions. Try to understand what do they want from you as a student? What the questions want from you, you know? What do the children want to raise? When you find anywhere in the passage that there's raise money, try to link, yeah? What's Mickey's idea? This is our target. We need to find answers to this. So before we read, let's try to read through the questions. What two places would be ideal for the event? Okay, where can people get sports equipment? Which water sports can children do at the sports center? Who can they call to help advertise the event? Before you read a passage or listen to a passage, make it a point, not as a way of copying, but as a way of brainstorming yourself. Look at the questions before you try to read the passage or listen to the passage. And please relax and take it easy. We're good to go. Okay. Let us start. As I told you, we have a problem with our board. Uh, it can't open, but we're gonna listen and please look in your books. We're gonna listen and follow up together. Let's start. We must find a way to raise money for the new children's hospital. Have you got any ideas? If we want to raise money for charity, I don't think we should have a concert or put on a school play. We did both of those last year. We need to come up with a more original idea. I've got an idea. We can organise an extreme sports day. Extreme sports have become very popular in the past few years. 
Guys, as you try to read or listen, pause for a while and take it easy. Try to understand what you just listened hard or read, you know. That way it will be easier for you to pick up. Let's continue. People spend most of their time sitting in front of their computers. Some of them think that extreme sports will give them the excitement that is missing from their lives. Mikey, that's a brilliant idea. The sports center and the beach club near the airport would be perfect for the event. If we advertise it, a lot of people will want to take part. I'm sure there will be adventurous adults who will want to try snorkeling or scuba diving. And then... A minute, did you hear the word snorkeling or scuba diving? These activity sports are the same. The words differ but the meaning is same. There are not more. There's kite surfing, jet skiing and cliff diving. The centre has experienced instructors and people can also rent equipment from the shop at the beach club. By the way, uh, please take note with the, uh, as we're reading, as we're listening, take note to underline those words, underline those sentences that you think match to the questions that we noted before. Please take a note. Children over the age of 10 can try snorkeling or windsurfing. They can put on their flippers and a mask and go diving with the instructor. If they don't want to do a water sport, they can always play beach volleyball. We can upload information onto our school website and we can call the journalists from the local radio station. It won't be a success unless we advertise it. You're right. If we want the event to be a success, we will need to let people know about it. Did you hear one of the if clauses? If you want to let the event be a success, we would have to let people know about it. This is what we've just learned. The if clauses, the conditional clauses. I'm sure mum and dad will want to come. I know which extreme sport dad will try. Sunbathing. All right, now, thank you, thank you. Now, before we go, we go any further, before we continue, Please help me and help yourself underline the if clauses, the if sentences that you've come across. Underline them, underline the if clauses, the if sentences. Uh, guys, like I told you before, after examining, after looking at the, the new words and reading the passage, listening to the passage, I just need five seconds of you. Please underline, highlight, underline the if clauses, underline the if clauses in the passage, in the listening extract, in the listening, could you underline the if clauses? How many did you find? Did you find if you want to raise money for the activity, blah, 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 did you find it? Thank you, great. Okay, did you also find if we advertise, blah, 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 and it, the sentence goes on, did you find it? Okay, good. So we are together, yeah? Now, those are the if clauses. They are, they are talking about uh, situations that, conditions that can happen. If we do this, we can also do this. Now, let's go directly to the questions. The questions are easy, short. We need short answers. The questions are easy, yeah? Let us start with the questions. Why do children, why do the children want to raise money? Why do the children want to raise, to collect, to put together, to bring money? Why? Did you find the answer? Thank you. Okay. For the reason of the hospital, it's the reason. What's Mickey's idea? Mickey had a very good idea. Which idea did you find? Are you right? Yes, it was an extreme sports day. It's the reason they chose. It's the reason they chose to do extreme sports. It was the idea for them to collect money. What two places would be ideal for the event? They suggested some two places in one of those last paragraphs. 
in one of the last paragraphs, they suggested some two places. Which, are, which places did they suggest to be ideal for the event? The beach club and the sports center. Thank you. Where can people get sports equipment? Where can people go and buy higher rent? Did you find it? Okay, from the shop and the beach club. Remember the beach club is at the beach and the shop sells them. Which water sports can children do at the sports center? Not all children can do adrenaline sports or extreme sports because they're young. So which sports did they say? Check your last paragraph. Snorkeling. Snorkeling, I told you, is the same as scuba diving. Snorkeling and scuba diving are same, okay? So they can as well do snorkeling and wind surfing. Okay, who can they call to help advertise the event? Who can they call to advertise the event? The journalists. I hope you know journalists. Journalists are people who work on TVs, on radio stations. The people who work there are called journalists and they can advertise with journalists from the local radio station. This is our reading part, okay? That is, well, that is our reading part. It's done. We're done. Now, uh, I want us to match uh, some of the highlight, highlighted words with the meanings. Now, highlighted words mean the words in this extract, in this passage, that are highlighted in red, okay, that stand out. Let's match which words are close in meaning to these sentences. Okay, money or help to people who are poor or sick. Sick means ill, yeah? If you're sick or ill and somebody helps you, or if you have no money, that is called a could it be extreme sport? What could it be? It's a charity. Yes, it is a charity, you know? It is a charity, like I told you, to give a charity. Good. What is, how do you call something completely new and different? Please check, check your paragraph, okay? Check your paragraph. How do you call something uh, completely new and different? How do you, could it be snorkeling, original, charity, race? Okay, so we can, it, it is something adventurous, okay? Something that will excite the, uh, the hell out of yourself. You'll be so happy when you do it, okay? So we say adventurous. What is to collect, to collect money, to collect anything? We say, could, what could it be? It's the easiest, I think collect money to raise okay to raise money collect okay lying in the sun oh this is so easy lying in the sun to lie on your back in the sun what could it be yes okay sunbathing then flat plastic shoes for swimming faster divers use it to swim faster what could be the name flea Flippers, thank you. That's flippers, okay? So we come with charity, uh, adventurous, race, sunbathing, and flippers. Okay, let us go faster with the pictures. Now, I want us to identify these equipments. These equipments are used by people who do extreme sports. They could be, uh, it could be paragliding, it could be best jumping, bungee jumping, uh, snorkeling, okay? It doesn't matter. What is one? It is a kind of jacket. But a very different jacket. It's a life jacket. Good. It's a life jacket. Good. Two. What about two? We just talked about two. What, what could it be? Two. Could it be a parachute? Wait, suit? Alright. It's a... They are flippers. It's not one, there are two, so we say flippers. Great. What is this? It's a kind of jump something you wear, whole body. It's a kind of suit, something you wear, whole body. How do you call it? It's a weight suit. It's a weight suit, okay? 
Great. What is this? They use it uh, when they're paragliding. G goggles. Goggles. No. Gloves. No. It's a parachute, okay? It's a parachute. Then these are goggles. You wear them, okay? We say goggles. And then gloves. These are all equipments we use as we do extreme sports. Please note your pronunciation. Let's just repeat for one time. Life jacket, flippers, weight suit, gloves, goggles, not gogo, okay? Gogo, no, go goggles, and parachute, okay? It's a parachute. These are gloves. Don't mind about this. Okay, they are gloves. Okay, now, uh, back to what we have just done. Uh, all right, uh, let's apply what we've just learned. This is the first conditional sentences. Now, don't forget in the first conditional, we have present, uh, present simple, okay, and future. Present simple and future. Uh, like, if it rains today, I will not go tomorrow. Rains is present simple will go is future. So let's start with uh, number one. Now, if you go by plane, you get there by noon. What could this be? It is present, so it is go, yeah? If you go by plane, you will, because you're using uh, first condition. This should be future and this should be present, okay? If you go by plane, you will get there by noon tomorrow. Two, if he, he has or have, if he has lunch now, if he has lunch now, he be dangerous for him to swim. It's a question, okay? It's a question, so it will change a bit because it is a question. Uh, don't forget uh, to be. Emiza, okay? If he has lunch now, will it, will it be dangerous for him to swim? Is it, you know, he's asking. If he eats lunch now, will it be dangerous for him to swim? Three, mosquitoes. Uh, mosquitoes are dangerous uh, kind of insects in the tropical countries, in tropical areas. So, mosquitoes bite us. What is to bite? Bite, bite, okay? Uh, if we sleep in tents, okay? Mosquitoes will bite. This is the main clause, don't forget. If is coming after, so it means this is the main clause. The main clause is coming first, yeah? Mosquitoes will bite us if we don't sleep in tents. Four, our front garden, again, this is the main clause, yeah? Our front garden, flood, to flood, water, okay? Our front garden will flood if the rain doesn't stop. Five, if clause, main clause. If you don't wear, present simple, you don't. If you don't wear your helmets, you won't be safe. If you don't get your helmets on, helmet. If you don't wear your helmets, you won't be safe. That is it with this activity. Well, uh, here is a conversation about an activity holiday. Uh, we, are, we only have just something easy to do. True or false? We're gonna choose true or false. Let's listen and choose true or false. Okay, welcome everyone. We've got a lot planned for the next three days. There will be an early start tomorrow morning, that's Friday, because we're going cycling. Mountain bikes and helmets can be rented from the shop next door. So, we'll leave here at 8 o'clock and cycle to Connolly Lake, where we'll have a picnic lunch. In the afternoon, if the weather's good, and I mean if it's windy enough, our windsurfing instructor will take you out on the lake for a two-hour lesson. Uh, should we wear wetsuits? 
Yes, because it gets very cold out on the water. Again, these can be rented. OK. Then it's dinner at the hotel, and you'll probably want an early night after all that exercise. On Saturday morning, we'll start a bit later. And there's been a change to the original programme. Unfortunately, there isn't much snow on the mountains at the moment, so we won't be able to go skiing. Instead, we've arranged a hike in the mountains. If you don't want to go walking, you'll be able to stay at the hotel and just relax by the swimming pool. What about Saturday afternoon? Are we still going diving? No, that's been changed to Sunday morning now. There will be a party at the hotel on Saturday night. And then on Sunday morning, there will be a scuba diving trip to Beaker Island. Uh, will there be a diving instructor for people like me who have never been diving before? Yes, of course. Most of you are beginners, I think. And don't worry about safety. We don't take any risks with any of the activities we offer. That's probably why we've never had any accidents so far. And we've been offering activity holidays for over 10 years now. Well, I think that's everything. So, has anyone got any more questions? Well, that's our activity holiday conversation. <laughs> let's uh, be fast. Let's be fast. We choose true or false. The people arrived on Thursday. Could it be true or false? True, okay. Uh, you can rent cycling equipment. False? It's true, come on. Okay, you don't have to wear a wetsuit for windsurfing. You don't have to, it is not a must, yeah? Is it true or false? It's true. <laughs> It's false, yeah? You have to, you have, no any you have no chance to say no, you have to. The people will go skiing in the mountains. What do you think? Okay, it's false, great. Scuba diving is planned for Sunday morning. Scuba diving is planned for Sunday morning. It's true. It's true if you listen carefully. They planned it on Sunday morning. That was the program. Nobody has been hurt in any activities up to now. Nobody has been hurt. To hurt is to get pain, to be pained. Yeah. Is it false or true? Absolutely true. Yeah. By the way, before you get these answers, try to reread, reread, reread the conversation on your own without listening, and then you can come onto one by one and decide which one is true or false. Thank you so much. That's it for today. Thank you.